Hey everyone, welcome to DC Outdoors. Today we're doing a little bit of ice fishing. It's uh, Sunday, January 9th. Me and half of the snack squad are out looking for walleye out here on Wabamin Lake. Stick around on this outdoor adventure. Hi, my name is Dan and welcome to DC Outdoors. If this is your first time here and you like outdoor adventure videos, gear reviews and other outdoor related stuff, well please get started by clicking the subscribe and the bell notification button so you don't miss anything. Well, let's get fishing. Alright everybody, well it's about 12.40. We've been fishing for probably about an hour and a half. Um, it's probably about minus 20 degrees Celsius out when we got here. And I think it's supposed to warm up to maybe about minus 16 or so um, here in the afternoon. So we planned on just getting out, fishing here for the morning and the afternoon, and then uh, heading home before dark so we can watch some Sunday night football. Um, it's been dreadfully slow here so far. We have not seen any fish biting um, we have a flag tip up and a jaw jacker set up outside of the tent and then uh, my son and I each have a line here inside the tent and uh, haven't had a bite haven't seen anything swim by so it's been pretty slow so far um, it's fairly warm here inside the tent I would easily say it's probably 10 degrees warmer than it is um, outside um, but yeah we're gonna fish it out for a little bit probably break for lunch here soon and um, yeah, see where this trip takes us. So anyways, appreciate you sticking around and uh, wish us luck. Rolling with a pretty simple lunch today. Just ramen. Um, my son had the kind in a cup. So I just had one of the packages that you just cook and uh, poured some boiling water in it and eaten it out of the old Yeti mug. So that's our lunch for today. It's still been pretty slow. Um, it's 1.30. I think my son here might have had a bite a few seconds ago or at least a little hit. Um, but it's pretty slow. There's not many other fishermen out. One other guy. And he was saying that uh, they saw pike swim by. Maybe a few whitefish. Um, but it looks like it's been pretty slow over his way too. So, nice lunch though. Definitely good, good to uh, warm you up. Mm. Okay, well, it's just about 2.30, I guess, 2.30. We just finished off our lunch and uh, had one little pike swim by, man. I would probably have put him as a, you know, a good 18 inch, like a pretty decent pike. He hit my line once or twice and I tried to set the hook, but... Um, no luck. He kind of swam off over in that direction. And to be honest, usually they loop back again a second time and we didn't see him. Um, I just went out as well and I checked the tip up and the jaw jacker and, uh, neither of those has been hit. They both have their bait on it. Um, so I really don't know if much is moving around here. I'll take a shot outside right away, um, to show you. But, um, compared to last week, it is dead out here. Not many fishermen at all. Um, there was another crew and uh, they were saying that they saw a few fish earlier today on their camera. I think I was mentioning a bit earlier, but I don't think that they got any bites. And um, yeah, it's uh, not very active of a day and not many fishermen out. And honestly, not that nice of a day. Like I was telling you off the hop, minus 20 this morning, supposed to warm up to maybe about minus 16 degrees Celsius or so, um, but it's still snowing a little bit. It's just kind of gray and just not very nice. So I think our game plan here is to probably stick around and fish for another hour and a bit. Probably leave around maybe four or so. Um, but yeah, we're just hoping for some luck here to be honest. Um, like I said, it's been pretty slow, but uh, appreciate you watching so far. This 
is our fish in haven i've gotten this thing a few years ago from costco enough room in here definitely for two guys so you can kind of see we have a chair there snack squad over here a little buddy heater and a couple holes so plenty of room there and then back on this side we have a the bin that i use to keep most of our fishing supplies in and food and so forth so definitely a lot of extra room in here for gear um tent works out pretty good but it's not insulated so you can definitely see that there's some humidity that's forming on it so that was definitely part of the challenge that i had when i was sleeping in here for eight days camping all right well i think i'm going to take a quick break away from here from the fishing and uh i want to show you a little bit about the gear that i bring out and uh, how i pack everything up i did do a gear video a few years ago and i will include it um, linked above here and below in the comments but uh, i've changed a little bit about how i pack it so you might want to check out that video um, and then uh, what i'll show you right away will kind of uh, pair with that and kind of just show you how i've evolved my ice fishing setup here over the years so as you guys already know i don't drive on the ice i walk so i carry the tent on my back in the carrying case that it comes in and all the other gear goes inside my sled one of the next modifications that you'll see is this paracord that is drilled through and woven through the lip of the sled. This gives me lots of anchor points to tie things down with bungee straps so I don't lose gear along the way. Inside this green insulated bag, uh, I keep a lunch pail, uh, kind of our lunch bag, I guess, with any of the food and snacks that we plan on taking that day. Uh, I also keep inside of their thermoses, water bottle, bait, and any other snacks and stuff, right? So basically that's this bag I keep with me in the truck when we're driving out to the lake, and then it fits good in here. I like that it's insulated because it, uh, you know, I believe that that might keep a little bit extra warmth in there and a little bit of extra cool in there for things I want to keep warm or cold, uh, and it's transportable inside the truck. Let's show you what's in this bin next. So let me just start by mentioning that I used to keep all my ice fishing gear inside of those um, pails um, the, or the classic kind of bucket um, that a lot of ice fishermen keep their gear in and sit on. But I found that those are too tall. So if I leave it inside my sled, my rods stick upwards and then I can't close my tonneau cover over. So I like this bin. It's an 18 gallon or 68 liter tote and it fits perfectly inside this jet sled junior um, and I like it because I can lay rods and things horizontally um, and they don't get crushed um, which is awesome so inside of here I have my tackle over in there these foam pads which we use to insulate the floor they look work really good to keep the kids boots off the ice um, you'll find rods tip up jaw jacker pliers measuring tape um, licenses anything else like that so basically this is my fishing gear tote um, like I said I like it because it fits things in horizontally so rods and things aren't sticking up when I close the tonneau cover on it but it's also sturdy enough for me to sit on so I can sit on top of it and use these tiles as a bit of a cushion I can also use it as a table which is handy to cook on and, um, you know, like I said, it, it um, packs really well inside the sled. So definitely checks a few boxes there. And then I did not show you, but if I'm going out with a kid, I will also bring a second small folding stool kind of tucked in there. All right, folks. Well, as you can see, I'm back indoors. Uh, I noticed there that some of the last uh, filming that I did was super blurry. I think from filming inside the tent then going outside, the lens got all steamed up. So I figured I would uh, just film some closing thoughts here back uh, in the house. But anyways, it was a dreadfully slow day out there. We ended up leaving around four o'clock, getting absolutely skunked. So that was a bit of a bummer. But, um, you know, all things considered, love to get outdoors anywhere. Uh, I can. Uh, for me, it's not always about catching. Um, like I said before, in fact, if I relied on fish uh, that I caught to eat as a main source of food, I would be a very hungry man. Uh, for me, fishing is just about getting outside and uh, glad to take my son out with me and uh, share some good time out in the tent. But um, anyways, if this was your first time here and you like outdoor adventure videos, gear reviews, and other outdoor related stuff, well, please hit the subscribe and the bell notification button so that you don't miss anything. Until next time, we'll see you outdoors.